Now let's look at 3 bit down counter. So only change I have done here is I've changed this guy. Now the clock of the next flip flop is connected to Q bar, Q0 bar instead of Q0, Q1 bar instead of Q1. Here you can see that. Okay. All of them are negative edge triggered flip flop T1, T0, T1, T2. This is the LSB guy, this is the MSB guy, and we will see how a uh, sequence is coming. So here you can see uh, at a zeroth clock pulse, the states are 0, 0, 0. So just for your reference, I made Q1 bar and Q0 bar, but these are not your output. The outputs are Q2, Q1, Q0. These are 0. Since these two guys are 0, this will be one complement of this. Okay. So what will happen when first clock pulse will come? Q0 will instantly change its state. Uh, it will come from 0 to 1. Now since uh, this is 1, this will become 0, Q0 bar, right? Now you can see Q0 bar is treated as the input uh, clock to T1. So and here also you can see it is coming from 1 to 0. So there is a negative edge means Q1 will also change its state, right? And uh, since this is 1, this will become 0, right? Again, this one is uh, this Q1 bar is uh, treated as input to T2 flip flop and negative edge is there you can see 1 to 0 it is coming so this guy will also change its state right second clock pulse what will happen this guy will change its state it's 1 to 0 since this is 0 this will become 1 right 0 to 1 it is coming so there is no state change so 1 it will be there and since this is 1 this will become 0 0 to 0 no change so here it is like this third clock pulse what will happen this guy will change its state this is 0 change its state 0 so this will become 1 uh, 0 to 1 it is going so it's a positive edge means this will not change its state ok fourth clock pulse what will happen this will change its state 1 then uh, uh, this is 0 to 1 means positive edge means no change uh, here it is 1 no change right fifth clock cycle 0 1 0 negative edge is coming it will become 1 0 negative edge is coming 0 sixth clock cycle it will become 0 1 0 to 1 no change no change seventh clock cycle this will become 1 0 negative edge 0 become 0 8th clock cycle what will happen this will be 0 this will be 1 since there is positive edge no change 1 no change like this right so you can see what is happening 0 7 6 5 4 look at these 3 guys ok 0 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 again 0 so it's a down counter you can see that don't look at these two guys i have just made for your reference so that you can see the output real output are these three guys so maximum count is again seven right two to the power three minus one seven and mod is again eight why because there are uh, eight distinct state zero one two three four five six seven eight distinct states are there and this can also be written as two to the power three this 3 here this is 2 to the power 3 minus 1 this is 2 to the power 3 only ok so this is your uh, down counter if you want to look at uh, timing diagram this is how it looks like 9 clock cycles I have made 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 9 clock cycles are made Q0 will change after every negative edge of clock so a negative edge came you can see 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 then q0 bar will be the inverted version of this q0 so you can see uh, 1 became 0 0 became 1 it is exactly similar these two uh, waves then q1 will change its state at a negative edge of q0 bar you can see here so here negative edge negative edge negative edge negative edge negative edge always mark negative edge so that it will be easier for you to draw the waveforms so q1 was initially 0 changes state change state change state change state similarly q1 bar will be the inverted version of this uh, wave 
inverted version of this wave and then q2 will change its state whenever there will be a uh, negative edge in q1 bar so there is a negative edge here here and here so change the state change the state change the state okay so you can see a q2 q1 q0 0 0 0 um, 1 1 1 1 0 1 0 1 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 <coughs> okay likewise it is going then it will again start from 0 0 0 goes till 0 1 1 0 0 1 okay so that is how it is uh, being done and here you can see these two waveforms q0 and q0 bar they look exactly similar their frequency will be same and you can see this whole 8 clock cycle if you will see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 clock cycles here you have uh, four of this right 1 2 3 4 4 are there here also four is there so it becomes clocks 8 divided by 2 then here you can see only two of them it is there one cycle two cycle so divide by four okay and then here only one cycle you have so divide by eight okay so you can see the frequencies mod values are not changing only the direction of counting is changed and uh, just by changing the, the the connection here and now you can you can make three bit up and down counter using using positive edge as well so just you have to uh, give the positive edge and if you will connect with this guy positive edge then it will be a down counter and if you will connect with this guy positive edge it will become up counter okay reverse of what you have seen till now so i think you are equipped with the knowledge of up down counter uh, and you can make four bit up down counter either positive edge or negative edge just i'll conclude uh, with um, with a shortcut so that um, you will be able to design any width counter down counter up counter or you will be able to analyze it easily okay there is nothing uh, nothing much to look forward to yeah so uh, i'm expecting you will be able to do the three bit uh, uh, up down counter using positive edge okay